Good day, ladies and gents. Welcome back to Balkan's campaign. Uh, it's this is Balkan's BMS 4.33.1. We are just to mix things up because our last video was a bit of a bummer. I think um, I, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I, I feel like cruising one, one. around. Engaging target bullseye. One six zero. One hundred forty uh, miles. Twenty five thousand. The Adriatic Ocean, looking for for air targets, only to find two Antonov 24s, and finally a MiG 21. Uh, was a little bit disappointing, and wasn't a particularly rewarding experience. Um, but you know what's done is done. So today we des I've decided we're going to do a little bit of something unusual and something I don't do very often. I think in my channel I've only got one other video of it, uh, which is a Tasmo strike, which is an anti-shipping mission. Uh, we're going to be hunting these two frigates. Now if I just put my recon up here, uh, all right, zoom in. There we go. We're hunting two frigates, uh, which appear to be Chinese built frigates, or they have Chinese names, or they're placeholders. I'm not really sure. They look suspiciously like Oliver Hazard Perry's, but I. Um, I think all of Azapar has a gun on the front, so I'm not very, I'm not very uh, strong on the naval identification. So uh, you have to excuse me if I got the names wrong there. We're taking the tw Italian tornadoes today. We're not the ADVs because they don't have anti-shipping capabilities. Um, it's just going to be me on my own. Um, I bought three missiles, uh, one for each ship and a third just in the off chance I I have a target opportunity or I need to sink one of them because one is not sufficient. Uh, these are um, AS-34s, which are Comorant missiles, or Comorin, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. They're German anti-shipping missiles built for the IDSs, uh, which the IDS is a German Navy um, anti-shipping uh, strike craft, actually, so it's very fitting here. We're finding the Italian ones, as you can see, well, for the Italian Randalls, if I change the skin. Italian Randalls, pretty cool. Um, unlike the ADV, this only has two um, ports for the Sidewinders, and also, like the ADV, if I twist from the around, you can see more clearly. Um, these are both chaff flare launchers. So, on the ADV, and I think on the GR4, one of them is a chaff flare launcher, the other one is a jammer pod. So, that leads me to suspect that the IDS, um, at least uh, on paper, has no jammer pod. I don't know if there's an internal jamming device. Um, so, I mean, we're just going to have to see how it goes. Uh, Hopefully we won't be needing it, given the fact that we're cruising over the Adriatic, a sort of almost over-friendly waters most of the way, and that the, the, there seems to be very few SAMs that can reach us across the ocean, and certainly we have a lot of friendly aircraft operating in the area. Um, I think we'll be okay. I've, what I've done is I've drawn a box around the ships. Actually, let me set a bullseye over here, um, because it's always nice to have a bullseye somewhere I know what I'm supposed to be doing, roughly. So we're with the bullseye to where the ship is. Confirm. Uh, that'd be useful. Um, I've drawn a little box around where the ships will be. I know the situation will be changed, but it would have changed by the time I got there. But it means that if I've got the one missile left and I'm looking for a target opportunity, I know roughly that where to look and looking in that box. Um, everything else seems to be patrol craft. They seem to be musket carrying little um, patrol boats, so not really worth hammering. Uh, I think that's what I've really got to say. Alright guys, welcome back to the office. So, we're going to be departing when we're 3 zero on our home base, and we're going to be doing a right-hand turn, and the uh, doing a, a climbing turn to the southeast. We're going to be using maybe 15,000 feet to 20,000 feet as a block. There is no real launch profile required for the common missiles. I'm presuming they're using the same flight profile as the Harpoon, and we don't expect any uh, surface-to-air threat. The nearest threats on the map, at least, we believe were flat guns on the coastline, which can't reach us if we're flying dead down the middle of the Adriatic Sea, and the flat guns and missiles from the frigates themselves, although I suspect that will be minimal given that most of the uh, watercraft are patrol boats that don't have um, any real anti-air weaponry, and at best, flat guns. So I think 15,000 to 20,000 would be sufficient. Alright guys, well I'm going to depart now, and then we're going to be uh, set to our cruise climb, and then hopefully look for the targets which we will get in the first time round. I'm really hoping I get in the first time round. If not, as I said, I've labeled other targets in a box, in the box which you'll see later on in the uh, on the uh, HSD, and hopefully we'll look for something if we can't find the two ships. But hopefully we'll find the two ships. Up. Just goes 
leading edge flaps all the way up. Good. Do a turn. As usual, I will just get us into a good climbing position and then uh, I'll, I'll probably cut the video out and put you back on when we're a bit closer to the target fence in and uh, start looking for these two these, these two freights. I really hope we do find them. I, I think I had a Tasmo before. The, 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 the looking for ships is not always the easiest thing. I mean, I, I, you, you'd think um, looking for a boat in the middle of a flat ocean would be easy, but sometimes it's just hard to pick up um, because of the speed we're doing. Um, Really hoping we see them. All right, guys. We're well now we're going to go into the climb and let's get, let's get let's the waypoint set up. Let's set up our radio. We've got the guard channel. Step up two. Now the aircraft threat will be our greatest uh, priority here. So, got to be a bit more aware on um, if any if any aircraft come again. If it's MiG 29s, we're going to have to just turn and burn and run away. Um, if it's MiG 21s. Probably still turning and burning and running away. Uh, although, up close, maybe we'll have a chance. So we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, well, I'm just going to cut out here and I'll see you guys a bit closer to the, uh, the front lines. Alright guys, we're roughly maybe 60 miles to run, 80 miles to run. You can see there at the beginning of the box, if I zoom out, um, this is the box I've marked on the briefing. For the, where enemy ships are likely to be. We're not actually too far from the coast of Italy. We're, I think we're just just past the, just within the middle of the Adriatic Sea. So, worst case scenario, we turn and burn over the coastline. Dallas, um, one, radar contact. Bullseye, 140, 220 miles, 17,000. Let's just quickly fence in. The cockpit is pretty dark, unfortunately, so I have to use lights on all the time. If you guys are wondering why, because it's actually quite dark in here. Um, okay, let's go to air-to-ground mode. Power on the Comer missiles. And let's look for our enemy ships. And while we're here, turn on the TGP. Now, it's unlikely, given the range of these missiles, we'll, we'll see them on the TGP. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll most likely see them here first. We'll call out the AWACS, declare it. And we'll see if we can find these two frigates. If not, we're just going to have to hope for the best. So let's go back to the HSD. Now we're a bit, we're still a bit far, but I just wanted to get ready and make sure everything was good to go. Um, friendly ships, F-15 nearby, I'm feeling pretty safe. Not too concerned. I don't have a wingman. We are a uh, singleton. So I haven't got that early warning if I needed. I, I could have bought a wingman, but I decided, I, I think I may have said this in the briefing, that uh, I didn't want to risk having a second plane out, and certainly they could be doing better things with the, with the tornadoes. Um, this is just really something I want to do for a bit of fun, off the side. A bit away from those ADVs for a while. Patriot battery behind us. That's probably a ship actually giving us over the water, just coming up as a Patriot battery. Yeah, Something's come up on the radar there. Let's see. Can we get a get a bit closer? Dallas, one, be advised. Enemy aircraft launch activity detected. Bullseye, one four zero, two hundred miles. Sentry one, Elvis, one one. It's a bogey. Okay. So now that is the target. The triangle is where the ship was supposed to be during the briefing. So very likely, this is. Or at least I'm hoping so that this is the frigate. Now let's look at the dynamic launch range on the HUD. I don't know. If, I don't know if this will come up in the video, uh, but it's just in the range now. So let's go back to the HSD. Uh, sorry, the SMS page. So it's powered on, and we want to make sure that the. Oops. Oops. Now I've now I've I'm powered it up. It, once it's powered on, it will stay powered on. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, one, one. Engaging. Unlike the say two. Unlike the um the the harm missiles and Mavericks, I don't think there's a there's according to the manual, there's no time limit to the power on, so we're not too concerned about leaving it on. I'll just probably reduce power because we're cruising really quickly. Ah, oh, now I've lost that target. That's annoying. I'm 
It's not on course. Enemy aircraft launch activity detected. Bullseye. 140, 140 miles. So let's have a look. What's going here? Let's see if that's a bogey. Sentry 1, Elvis 1-1. Declare. Elvis 1-1. Sentry 1, contact is a bogey. Do apologize for that. It's my phone. Now I believe that was a bogey. Again. Century one, Elvis, one, one. Okay, so Target is a bogey, so I'm hoping this is the ship. Century We're gonna have one, the missile uh, terminal pop. Uh, so actually, terminal, terminal skim. Elvis, one, one. And the Century area one, large. One, I'll explain that to you guys in a bit of a, in a minute. It's weapons in long range, so I'm just gonna fire off one of the harpoons now. Bruiser. There we go. Missiles away. Now, that chip is locking onto me. I'm almost sure that that is the. That is a frigate. So I'm just gonna. Challenge it is a fire and forget weapon. I'm not transferring any data to it. So I'm just gonna nose around and come back around for a second launch. Actually, scratch that. No, I'm gonna see if I can lock it up on the TGP. I want to see this thing go down. Um, so if you go to the weapon page, I don't think I've gone through this, but there are two modes for the the harpoon slash cobalt in this case. Um, the missile will fly the profile all the way down, like a, almost like a bomb. Um, and you can adjust it to make it fly low or fly high, or terminal pop, and the missile will fly a low level. A low level, it will hit the deck 10 meters, about 10 meters off the, off the water surface, and it'll either pop up near the end to avoid the the, the fences, or it will skim at the end. So it skims all the way. Um, I've opted to go on the terminal pop because frigates will probably have some sort of COS. Let's quickly look at the TGP, see if anything comes up. HOI. Let's make it narrow. Zoom in. It's Alt F for the zoom in, which seems very counterintuitive. Dallas one, be advised. Enemy aircraft launch activity detected. Bullseye. I don't really see a ship there. Do you guys see a ship there? There's no, there's no real concern because the harpoon, of course, will also look for the uh, has no has search radar. So once it's off, it will just look for a target. So all we gotta do is point in the rough general direction, and it should be okay. A bit disappointed though, I can't see it. All right, well let's load the second one. Let's power on the second missile, and let's go back to the HSD. Okay. So let's look for another target. One one in. I'm hoping. Let's lock on that again. Sentry 1, be advised. Hostile launch activity detected. Bullseye 190, 80 miles. Let's get that declared up. Sentry 1, Elvis 1-1, one, one. declare. Elvis 1-1, one, one. Sentry 1, contact is a bogey. It's a bogey. So, let's fire off another Maverick. Um, another Harpoon. Power Dallas, one, radar contact, bullseye, one, three, five, 260 miles, 17,000. I don't know why it's not releasing. Because I did select the profile. The 
last one's also torn off. So I only got one missile left. So let's see if actually that ah there it is. We found one. God, it's a big target, isn't it? Dallas one, be advised, enemy aircraft launch activity detected. Bullseye one four zero, one hundred eighty miles. So that's locked up. Let's actually fire off our last weapon at it. And select the profile. Skim. Zoom out. Let's see if we actually manage to hit it with the with the missile. Nope, there it is. Oh, well that looks nasty. Well, that's definitely uh, that's definitely not a uh, good place to be. I think he might be finished. Although with ships are a bit more resilient than tanks, I guess. So. That said, he is now minimum range, so I won't be able to fire off my harpoons anymore. So let's look for another target. Or I can come around and finish him off, but I think he's... I think that ship would have had it. Let's see. Let's see can I see it? Let's see if I can bring it around. One of these days I would love to do uh, dumb bombs and or skim bombs off... Altitude. The, uh, Altitude. On, onto a onto a ship. Can we see it? There he is. There's the other ship just ahead of it. I'm gonna do something a bit silly that I don't normally do. I don't think this is gonna do anything, but this will be a little bit at least a little bit amusing and memorable. Oh, that was novel. Anyway, we still got one more Comer missile, so I'm going to try and finish off that second ship. So let's come back around, let's afterburn, come back around and face the reciprocal heading. So that'd be, uh, what, zero, 040? Zero. miles, 17,000. Sentry 1, be advised, hostile launch activity detected. Bullseye 105, 120 miles. Missiles out. Oh, let's actually watch it impact. I don't normally get to do this. Sunrise. Boom. I am very pleased with that. Alright guys, well that's all three of our missiles out. Let's make our way home. Alright guys, here's the debrief. So, fired off three common missiles. First one didn't hit anything. Um, either didn't lock on. I couldn't find the target on, an, on its, its own search radar. Or it was defeated by some sort of countermeasure on board the ship. Um, which is, you know, to be expected at maximum range, I guess. The second missile hit dead on and actually wrecked the ship in one hit. And then the third one actually only damaged it. So after, at the end of the mission, we only managed to nail one of the two frigates. That said, they are quite badly damaged. It looked quite badly damaged. So pretty pleased with that mission overall. All right, guys. Well, this was a very short little mission. I was actually very pleased with it. Um, worked out quite well. 
and I hope to do more of this little fun stuff in the future, just uh, just to mix things up a little bit. All right, guys. Well, until next time, this is Nate out.